tomorrow, I put my husband in the ground. And I got Franklin to thank for that. I need a half a million. What's it for? The price of freedom. Walk away from this. You can't. It's only gonna get worse. All of it is Franklin's fault. Ain't no one going home with clean hands. FX is snowball. Yeah, what to expect in the next episode? Episode eight? No, it's episode seven. <laughs> So seven, and you put seven in the recap. I said okay. that already. We've already acknowledged that. Good, good job. Good job, guy. Whatever. Good All job. right. Snowfall, season six, episode seven, Charnel House. Teddy and Franklin close in on each other. Gustavo runs out of time. And obviously we've seen the trailer where Louis is saying some things that she should not be saying, especially at this point. I attempted for about like two minutes to give her some benefit of the doubt because she's grieving but like nothing about this the series of events that led up to you being taken nothing about that should put you in a mental state of looking to blame you should be feeling ultimate guilt now if you do feel that guilt sometimes people try to divvy it off to other people so mm -hmm. if if that's the case and she just truly feels guilty and she needs somebody else to wear some of that weight with her we should get off of that pretty quickly. Yeah. It shouldn't take too many conversations to get her off of that. Because she's every bit as culpable. Well, no, she's more culpable. She's absolutely more culpable than Jerome. I mean, than, than, than Saint for Jerome's death. Mm -hmm. But if she's absolutely demented, you know what she may do? She may try to give Saint up to Reed. His name is Teddy, sir. You called him Reed. Teddy, whatever. <laughs> CIA boy. She yeah. may try to set Franklin up. In light of this, they both going to be at the hospital. They're both going to be at a funeral. That's ample opportunity to, to where she's going to be, where Franklin is, sure. to set him up. Yeah. So if she's really, truly off the reservation, and this is where she's going with this, it's all Franklin's fault, she's going to give him up. Also, she may bring up the fact of, well, how did they know to get me at the stables? How did they know to sit on the stables? Yeah. Which, I mean, that is his fault, but... Do you, do you expect me now to think that it was you? He, he still righted that wrong. Well, but if, even with that, you are currently trying to kill me when I told him that information. So it's like... Yeah, that too. Do you? Yeah. Like you, you trying to... Sh you then sent cops to my apartment, tear up my stuff, got my wife all upset, can't even have her here. What are we doing? You shooting up my places of business. I'm shooting up your places of business. If we are shooting at each other, there really shouldn't be any inter uh, understanding about setting each other up. We're trying to kill each other, right? That's what we're doing. You wanted war. Yep. Yep. Uh, we're all trying to tell you this woo ain't nothing to fuck with. Woo or war? It's woo. Wu-Tang? I don't think Franklin is in Wu-Tang. I don't think Wu-Tang is a thing at it, this point. I have a Wu-Tang shirt on. Wu Tang Clan ain't nothing to quit. Okay. We went together. Oh, okay. Anyway, so a part of me thinks that they're just writing it that way to make Louis even that much more unlikable so that when she dies, it's perfect. They don't need to do it though, because she was already unlikable enough, but. The logic just doesn't track. Right? It, 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 doesn't, it doesn't make sense. It, 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 I, I, okay. I won't say it doesn't it doesn't completely make sense because a grieving person will say a lot of irrational things. We're we're very close to the end, so there's really not that much runway for redemption. Yeah. But she's either going to be the overarching villain of the of the entire show when we look back on it, when we rewatch this, knowing oh, okay. where it ends bye, up. Bye. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Or what we saw in the preview is a setup, and it's not where it's ultimately going to end. You okay. know what I mean? So, say she does give up Franklin, and somehow, because of that, Teddy wins, and Franklin dies. Bad ending, right? Like, you're not... Is it is it enough to be like, oh, Snowfall, what the fuck? That, that is... That is Arya killing okay. the Night King instead of Jon Snow. That's what that is. Okay, that's what I figured. 
I would say yeah. the same thing. Franklin has to win in order for this to be like, okay, Snowfall, one of the best shows. That's that's lost ending in purgatory instead of us figuring out what the <laughs> hell was going on with that damn island. <laughs> Fair enough. As Franklin is the reason she's alive, he didn't have to call Jerome and could have left her on the last train to Clarksville. Like fact is a fact. I, again, let's run through it, folks. Let's <laughs> let's let's get to it. <laughs> one more time. One more time. Did Franklin want to leave the business? No. Did Franklin try to backdoor Louis on a plug? No. And did Franklin? No, we know Franklin didn't try to kill Kane because Franklin wanted to sue for peace. He wanted all of this shit done and over with. No more killing. Guess who started to kill him back up? Because I just don't want to. I don't feel right. You know, I had some some bad sushi with Jerome earlier. My stomach's messed up. I got a boo boo. I feel like somebody <laughs> needs to die, and it's gonna be Kane. Buckley, snort a little bit and then go get it done. That was all on you. That was. It was all on you. You, 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 you. Every time, you. Every escalation, you. It went from, I don't want to be in the line of fire, to I don't want to work for Franklin, to I'm going to go to the man who just stole $70 million from my nephew to work for him. What planet are you living on, Lunel? Lunel? I, I, I just figured that was her full name. <laughs> Any thoughts yeah. about Teddy and Franklin close? Well, Teddy and Franklin closing in on each other. Ooh, uh, okay. Gustavo, yeah, no, that's another Gustavo part. runs out of time. What does that mean? Maybe he has to run. Please don't get Gustavo. Man, Gustavo has been Switzerland this entire show. Facts. He's been Switzerland. He just works and does his job. He also just can't shows die. Up. Also can't die. Like, don't let get, for what reason? Like, even even, even to the point of maybe Franklin Saint dying, you can somehow make it make sense in your head. Sure. I would hate it. But you can somehow make it make sense as to why he met an end. Also just shows up to work, man. Also is your, your gardener. He's your roofer. Now, why is he, he your shows- gardener and your roofer? You know why. Why? He just he Say shows it. up and he does what needs to be done. And he doesn't, he doesn't whine about it, doesn't moan and groan, doesn't give you no shit. He'll give you a good price. And he's just there. He's reliable. What are you insinuating about Oso right now? That Oso is a hard worker. A hard working what? What did you say? He's a hard working guy. Oh, okay. No, but but seriously, in, in all seriousness, like he has been the most one of the most steady characters no, in yes. terms of what his moral guide is, what his moral gauge is. It has not shifted all that much from season one, and 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 like he's been loyal to Teddy to the point that Teddy keeps him safe and pays him. Okay. But I don't think it ever moved beyond that. Mm-hmm. I agree. Any other thoughts on episode? Six or episode seven, not episode eight. We're Man, not there yet. does Reed and uh, and Franklin interact at all? Uh, Next episode. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. I think they interact for sure. You mean do they meet no, face, like, to face? face to face? Yeah, they, yeah, yeah, face to face. <sighs> yes. I couldn't imagine that Franklin's going to give Oso a million dollars to sit around and wait. Yeah, but they meet up. But things don't go to plan, and so this is like their first. Also, it looks like he needs half of that million from from somebody from Lee. Uh, yeah, I think so. Who did he ask for that half a million? I don't remember. It might have been Lee. Probably. Damn, he about to force. Yeah, probably. He about to force Lee to to push that crack in the projects. Like it's candy, like it's hot Cheetos. Oh. Like it's I wonder how like it's gonna feel about pickles. That. Man. Poor Wanda. Yeah. It's okay. Poor Wanda. She's, she's, or or go uh go rob D. That's what they need to do. Sure. But don't expect Because you know D took Wanda. the money. If he was smart, as soon as he'd have put his jaw back together, he'd go grab the bag and get out of there. You're ignoring the fact that Wanda, her time's about up. <laughs> she, no, it's not. She's she's about gone. 
Wanda survived the 90s. She became a school teacher, <laughs> middle school, okay. and she teach history. All right. Crack history. <laughs> she teaches world history at, at, at Martin Luther King High School. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, no. Her... Any Martin Luther King High School in the nation. That's where that's where Wanda teaches currently. It is not Dame time. It's Wanda time. It's about time. I don't think so. Everybody who we think is going to die can't die. Unless they just go kill off everybody in the show. So, okay. so if if my if list, Rome my already list. died, oh go ahead. If Rome already died, we still got to get one out of Teddy or Louis. They have to give us one. Okay. I wanted them to give us both, but one of them has to go, right? It, we still got Sissy, Wanda, Veronique, Saint, Leon. Like it, everybody can't be gone. Okay, so if Te- Teddy and Louis can both go. But if that's going to happen, they're probably going to give us somebody that we don't want to go. I would think. Right? Like, Franklin's got to go, too. Or, like, Oso's got to go. On top of that, Wanda is going. <laughs> Wanda or Lee. And I don't want it to be Lee. So, Wanda's gone. She's... <laughs> I, I have a really bad feeling that Wanda ends up strung out again. And I just really don't want to see that for well, her. That is, that is going to happen because Leon is going to to go. I'm telling you, one of them are, is gone. You better Why choose. Why are you trying to break you up better the choose, only couple You better choose which one you like more. And I like Leon more. So Wanda's got to go. After all they've been through, that's what you're doing to Leon and, and I'm and not Wanda. doing it. I didn't write the show. After everything they've been through, that's what you're going to do to I them. didn't write the show. Wanda was out here singing ABCs on dudes three yep. years ago, and now she is a wife. Yep. And you want her to die. And I love their wedding scene, but she's she's on the clock, fam. Wanda, I'm speaking life into you. You're going to live. You're going to live. It is It is not much life because you will be gone by episode nine. <laughs> I like her. I like her actress, too. Like they're, they're, she, she seems real cool. She used to do skits with Dorm Taman and, and, and a whole bunch of shit like that. I like her, but she's gone. She's gone. All right, this uh, this wig is getting a little itchy now. So Bel Air, are we ready to are we ready to lose half of our viewership from Bel Air because people you haven't watched Bel Air? You can't even hold my man's down for a whole episode talking about it's itchy. No the commitment. The wig is itchy, and nobody in Bel Air has this. So, what do you want me to do? That's crazy, bro. What do you want me to do? I'll keep the chain on. Does that make does that make you happy? Hey, do what you gotta do, bro. 